the, before we restore sanity, there has been a problem in the country. And this problem that we have in this country is that the first place we've never, have a, we've never had a strategic plan. Despite losing people from 1963, the sector that we have been unable to sort is the sector of the uh, uh, road accidents. We've never had a, a strategic plan. We've never had a target. Uh, for, when I came to office, I sat down with uh, the ministry officials and the stakeholders and asked ourselves, what should be our target? That is how we came up with the national uh, safety strategic plan which we are going to launch on Wednesday, the president is going to launch, which will be a strategic plan for the next four years from 2024 to 2028. Yeah. In this strategic plan, we have measures that we want to deal with to reduce the road carnage. What are those? And our plan, before I come to the measures, our plan has had as a target that by 2030, we should reduce the road accidents, uh, incidences in self of the accidents by 50%, including fatalities by 50%. Okay. We need to make sure that as a country, accidents will be called accidents. It will not be the obvious reckless behavior that people have. Okay. But in the meantime, so the first step was to establish this uh, strategic plan. Yeah. This strategic plan uh, makes sure that there is a overall leadership, a cross-sector leadership across the cabinet, so that there will be a cabinet committee that focuses on road safety. And then we shall have a, a interagency and intergovernmental uh, uh, strategy of how do you deal with, yeah. on one hand, you're going to deal with uh, measures that are going to reduce the accidents, yeah. including what is the role of the Ministry of uh, uh, Petroleum in so far as uh, transporting dangerous goods and parking and so yeah. forth. You are going to have to deal with the, uh, my same ministry, but the roads department. Well, what are we going to do differently in terms of roads uh, 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 construction? Yeah. So all these measures, uh, in the immediate sense, uh, since we came to office, I promised the country after the, you remember we had an accident in, um, in Londiani, mm -hmm. and I promised the country that the difference, the, the, best, the, the, the best interventions we are going to make yeah. is to use modern technology to sort out the problems that have bedeviled us for a long time. Okay. The first thing is to make sure that we deal with speed. Speed is the first, yeah. uh, uh, speed is the first killer. In all these uh, contributions, the highest contributor to death is speed. Yeah. And we have said that we are going to set up to put, particularly in the highways, particularly uh, Mombasa Malaba Highway, yeah. which is the greatest contributor in terms of highways uh, deaths, we are going to put uh, speed cameras across. So and, how and different will this be, Waziri, just to cut you short? Because even as much as you put the speed cameras and yeah. all that, we know there are corruption points. We all know this. That we is know that, that, the that is the why speed governors that people put up, there's a switch. When uh, the police are near you, switch uh, on I'll and off. I'll I'll that is the second intervention, uh, technology-wise. The first is the speed camera. The speed cameras used all over the world now, and as, I, uh, as I've told the country, we are now at the tail end of the procurement process. By the end of this year, we will have set speed cameras in most roads of our country. The speed cameras, how they will operate is that they do not need human intervention. The camera will pick your car number plate. If you are over speeding, you are instantly fined. And, and, and for every incident of speeding, you are fined differently. So that we want to, re, to, to use uh, speed cameras to reduce road carnage. Number two, I promised the country that we want to in institute uh, vehicular telematics. Vehicular telematics means that we have a system that monitors your vehicle, including your speed. And NTSA will have the, uh, uh, the, the um, uh, control room yeah. that they are able to monitor all the and vehicles. And will this be installed at the point of entry then? It, it will be. Because if you expect everyone to put it up, then how will that work? This is how it's going to work. Instead of using your speed governor, we will tell you now, remove the speed governor. You install uh, vehicular telematics, which includes control of your speed. And we are able to monitor your speed throughout the day. In fact, the first place of intervention under our regulations that I have uh, uh, gazetted uh, is that these school regulations, for, uh, uh, as a first instance, I have said that all uh, schools uh, uh, transport system, the buses for schools and the vehicles for schools will have mandatory vehicular telematics with a control room in every school. But we will have the master control room as NTSA okay. so that then evidence is clear from there. We can, every time you have a speed or you, you, you drive as a school because we will infuse it in the school uh, vehicles. Yeah. If you drive after, after hour, if we have said you are going only to drive after 7 p.m. and you go beyond, beyond 7 p.m., yeah. we are able to detect where the vehicle is and the school can have a better control. Okay. In fact, we are going to be even better than that. We are going to 
provide technology where for the driver to ignite the engine of the vehicle, he has to put his own biometrics so that the question of a driver driving beyond eight hours against the law will now be sorted because when, when you've done your eight hours, the vehicle will stop. And we want to make sure that we use technology and I agree with you that we have had instances and problems of corruption. We're going to use technology to solve these issues. Okay. So for the confidence of the people of Kenya, because yeah. sometimes when you work in silence, people think we are not working. For the confidence of the people of Kenya, by the end of this year, we will have sorted most of the highways with speed cameras. By the end of this year? By the end of this year. Okay. And uh, we will work hard to make sure that in less than the next one month or so, yeah. we have the capacity to install the cameras on the roads. Okay. But we have also, and Kenyans have seen, we advertised for ITS system. ITS system is intelligent transport system to sort out transport in Nairobi. Nairobi City, a few roads in Nairobi City contribute 32% of the accidents. Most of the pedestrians that are killed are killed in Nairobi City. We are going to install the ITS system, and that ITS system, again, has, has, uh, has uh, the, the cameras indicating, uh, overlapping yeah. uh, uh, in, uh, instances like uh, uh, crossing, pedestrian crossing, when, uh, uh, I mean, violating the traffic lights, yeah. uh, violating the pedestrian crossing, and so forth. All these offenses will be fined instantly, or Already we have a funding from the Korean government and the Chinese government, and we are going to provide these cameras in 221 junctions in the city of Nairobi. Okay. We, Trevor, yeah. I'm telling Kenyans, because many Kenyans have told me, okay. uh, uh, CS, we should see you on the road chasing these matatos and, and, and pushing for compliance. Okay. I'm we, telling we'll them that, to uh, yes, so I'm saying, I'm, I've, I've told them, now. I've told them, yes. we have decided to use technology, and I'll be telling you later, okay. other instances of technology, yeah. to make sure that we intervene on human behavior, yes. but at the same time, we are going to use the punishment emitted on these uh, errand uh, uh, drivers yeah. to benefit uh, the process that we are working on on safety. Okay, hold on that.